What's good y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're trying to figure out how I accomplished this look, stay tuned. I'm back and this is the finished look. I'm gonna start with the details about the hair. So I got this hair, as you can see, I colored the hair, well I bleached the hair and then I put this red color in it. And this is like the first time I ever had water wave hair and I don't know. I had this hair on for about two, two weeks. So this is not like the first impression, first time I'm ever wearing it. I had it on for two weeks. So, um. I got a lot to say. I believe this is about 20 inches, no, maybe 20 or 18 inches. I'm gonna list it down below when I figure this out. So I'm not really sure, but I think it is 20 inches. But um, it comes with a, you know, a band, but I didn't attach the band. It comes with a wig cap, which I love about hair companies. I love when they send me wig caps along with the wig because I don't have to go to the beauty supply store. 
another thing about the hair is that um it came with lashes and the lashes are pretty decent like they're they're long they're like a little bit longer than like the norm for me but they're pretty decent they're pretty natural i don't know where i put them so that's why i'm not showing you guys but if i do find it i'll list a picture down below or put it full screen for you so the pros about the hair is that it's really soft it's actually really still soft after bleaching it i really do like the hair i i really do and um it doesn't shed like excessively especially for curly wavy whatever you want to call it water wave hair it's not tangly and this is like the first time i've ever worn water wave hair like, i've never worn a wig that's curly i usually go for straight straight that's it oh this is actually really different i really i like it i don't know right now i feel like um i don't know right now i feel like it's it looks flat but then at the same time i did do my braids a little bit bigger this time so maybe that's why it might look like that but my head is big anyway so you can't change that but i don't know y'all tell me what y'all think the hair is holding up really really well um i went on vacation with it i got salt water i got in the, the pool with it and you know the chlorine and everything and the salt water obviously dried it out but then after you wash your hair you moisturize your hair back to new normal but as for the pool because i did color it the color did fade out so i recolored it again back to normal not a problem but the hair is just good like the quality of the hair is soft it's good um yeah that's that for the pros as for the cons um what can i say oh uh, i don't like the lace very much like i'm looking into the mirror now and you can obviously see the net like you can see where it's cut to like lay down and stuff and um that's kind of like why i and like if about wearing wigs in general like besides like all the work that goes into them i don't like like i don't like the lace it's too it's too you can see right here too like it's too light for me the the lace and i'm like you know i'm like light skin so it's just like it's just too white like the lace is too white and i try to bleach the knots and see what would happen but nothing happened it's just white and i try to put makeup on it it's still there i don't know this is supposed to be transparent lace but uh no it wasn't it's light it's like it's a light lace and i have a transparent wig like i have what's supposed to be transparent so this is not transparent this is more on the white side so um i don't know what happened there this is actually the first time i've ever had a four by four wig closure uh, I usually am for the frontals, but because I don't know if you watch my other videos, but when it comes to like gluing all the way, like all around the perimeter of my hairline, I don't like it. Like I'm not a fan of it. The wig doesn't stay down on certain parts and sometimes it's a little, it adds a little bit of tension on your head. So I don't know. So that's why I got this one and that's why i favor it though like i will say that i favor it because it's a really quick hairstyle like with other wigs straight hair and stuff you would have to straighten it you have to do a lot just to maintain it but with this all you got to do is add the water and the mousse and you're on the go like that's great i love that it's just the the frontal that's the frontal the closure part is a little bit more on the white side and I feel like you can just see it but overall i like the hair i really do like it it's really soft it's it just looks good i look like i have a big big head right now i don't know i look very white on camera right now i feel like my makeup looks a little bit more lighter because i got a tan on vacation and um it was an uneven tan too y'all like i'm peeling and everything like i got sunburn but it's not painful like i got sunburned before but like this one is like a normal kind of sunburn like, I didn't feel any pain or anything but oh it's my camera that just looks so white right now like oh my goodness yeah <laughs> all right so this is good so yeah the camera is really really like I have lights in front of me like I have my big vanity light in front of me then I have the ring light so it's a lot going on I feel like I'm so bright right now um I didn't do any baby hairs because I'm not good at it and I don't see the point like it's just extra from it's just extra to me if it's not a ponytail or it's like something re like requiring your 
edges to actually show. I don't think there's any point of baby hair, so I'm gonna list everything down below, and I love you guys, and peace. Oh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for every time I post. Now, peace.